Hey there, and welcome to Heart to Art Part 3. This week, I started with a scribble, and when I looked at it, I thought that makes great hair. So I just kind of doodled um, a girl, and I really didn't have any idea where this was going to go when I started, and I'm just kind of following the marks, letting the first mark influence the second one, and so on and so forth. And just, I'm using my Cron Neo Neocolor 2 crayons, which are amazing and awesome, and I'm glad I'm using them again. And I decided that instead of doing a spread, I wanted to focus on one page and really kind of explore what was in my head, um, using this as a way to access my subconscious. So I'm just spreading all the crayon with water. And I'm just generally making some kind of background color. And that's more for getting something down on the page rather than something that's going to appear later on. I love how pigmented these crayons are and, and how much you can really pull out of them. So I just decided to put down white paint. For some reason, when you do white paint over colors, even if it's just like, oh, the page is white again, it really makes a difference and adds depth and dimension to your page. And I added some white to the crayon there on her hair because, you know, that'll make it kind of easier to work with. And added some of my black gesso. So here's the collage sheet for this week that I made for you guys. And it's got a lot of little cutouts and shapes and stuff um, that are full of color and texture. And I wanted to create something that was harmonious with the colors on the collage sheet um, and really kind of explore color and, and see what works with what and what doesn't. So this little piece I'm gluing down has the reds and pinks and oranges that her hair has. Um, and then I'll contrast that with something else later on. <coughs> and I decided to just start collage page collaging stuff. I really liked that little scrap that was on the desk and I thought, okay, well, I'll put that in her hair. And then I cut these circles out from the collage sheet from the pink textured section and, you know, other parts. You don't have to cut out to the shapes as they are on the collage sheet. You can make your own shapes, absolutely. This is another scrap of paper. I was like, I'm going to glue that down. So just random collage in her hair. And here's where I'm going to play with color. So this is neon pink, um, and I love neon colors, so I thought that would go with her orange hair. And I'm adding white because it lightens the pink um, and kind of makes it a little more um, opaque. And now I'm just doodling into the paint with the end of my brush, which is fun. And here this is like an aqua color um, because the colors on the collage sheet are greens and teals. Uh, I thought this would go really well. And I'm not using a paintbrush here. I'm using my catalyst um, tool to paint with. And that's what I usually use as a brush. And it makes it easier to add a lot of color because it won't all mix together. And I added some yellow ochre there because I love how it looks when mixed with the, with the teal, sea, green, whatever, blue. So here I cut out some shapes and I, I didn't record myself cutting out shapes. Um, these are the hearts that are on the top of the collage sheet. For some reason that wanted to go there. It's kind of interesting to watch myself do this because I could just see how one mark leads to the next. The heart, I put down the heart and I was like, okay, it's going to have to have like lines around it. And then maybe add some dots. And then maybe it shouldn't be yellow ochre, it should be you know, neon. And here, this is the neon pink mixed with the yellow ochre, so it makes kind of like a weird orangey color. But I really liked it. So you can see that I'm painting over a lot of stuff and changing stuff as I go along. Here are the stars, and these are kind of the, the colors that I wanted to be harmonious with. So I just collaged them down with my um, gel medium. And then I did something interesting. I decided to put it so there were a couple off going off the page to give you the impression that you know, this is one part of a larger thing. There I'm just adding water to the crayon and 
Then I put down some of my green gold high flow acrylics from Golden. And I took this collage piece, I was like, where am I going to put it? The page is wet, so I'm going to move on and do something else while the drips and drops dry. So I'm using my Stabilo All pencil to kind of draw around the outside of the stars because I felt like they were kind of getting lost in the collage and I wanted them to stick out a little bit. And then I went in and I added gold paint. I have gold paint that I put on my palette because um, I love metallics. So <laughs> neon and metallics are kind of what I'm into now. And I thought, okay, maybe I can make the stars stick out if I paint around them. And so this is a great um, blue violet color that I found is really great with the greens. Um, they're near each other on the color wheel, so they're going to kind of be in harmony with each other. And you can see I'm just covering up a lot of stuff. So I went through a lot of different colors for the background before I actually found one that I liked. And doing that really adds depth to your pages. It adds dimension and it it just is a lot of fun to do. So now I can glue down my piece. And now I cut strips out of um, one part of the collage sheet and I'm just cutting them into thin strips and just kind of layering them or stacking them I guess underneath my collage piece. I thought, okay, this will help it stick out. I felt like the girl with all the stuff in her hair and the heart really kind of represented dreaming and ideas and stuff that's going on. So this is just, that was just a gold paint pen. Here is an aqua paint pen. Just going over everything. Now that it's all dried, um, I can draw over it without worrying about killing my pens. And then I journaled, and I wrote about how this kind of represents how I want to help others and have a loving heart and be gra grateful and also have all these ideas in my head and I can't get them out all at once. And, of course, then I added white for contrast, and that's the finished page.